Hey, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control again. Uh, appreciate you watching my video. This is long awaited how to get rid of bed bugs or how to find bed bugs if you may have them. Uh, this is a box spring. I've already tilted it up to show you because y'all don't want to watch me, you know, pick up a bed or anything like that. Trust me, it's not a pretty sight. But anyway, this is the bottom of a box spring. Now, this is an older box spring. And uh, it's actually got springs in it. So what you want to do is you flip it up. Now this is going to tell how to find bed bugs, but also it's going to be how to get rid of them when you find them. Now this little piece of felt here uh, that covers the bottom of your box spring, you see it's got these staples all around the edges. Staple it on. Now I would advise just taking this off. It doesn't really perform any i mean correct me if i'm wrong down in the comments if i'm wrong or not but i don't believe this does anything as far as structural for your box spring at all the only thing this does is keep if you've got an older box spring that's got some uh maybe some cotton or some fiber inside it keeps it from falling out it also keeps cats from getting underneath it if they would like to get sometimes i like to get up underneath these things and lay inside them uh, so what i would advise you do if if you've got um a box spring like this and you do have bed bugs and you find that the bed bugs are living around these then you'll want to take this off and treat around these staples now the cut the chemicals are particular you have to make sure you read your label uh, make sure that you're getting the right pesticide for the job that bed bugs are actually on the label and that you're not misapplying chemical because you don't want to make yourself sick it's going to go on your box spring some chemicals are even labeled to use directly on your mattress you don't want to use the wrong pesticide on your mattress or on your box spring because you don't want to make yourself sick. You are going to be laying on it. Now, you, of course, you have to take all your sheets. If you have any bed bags on your beds or anything, you want to make sure you take those off before you do this. This is the bare box spring. That's what you have to have in order to be able to treat for the bed bugs. Now, there's a seam right here. Now, this has got a little messed up spring here on this box spring. But it's got a seam right here. And you can fold that up, and sometimes the bed bugs will hide. Now, this bed doesn't have uh, bed bugs, but you can peel that back, and you can sometimes find them around there if you don't see them around these staples. So, anyway, you want to treat those areas. Make sure you treat the seams. Always pay very close attention to the seams. Those are the places the bed bugs are going to retreat to. They're the places they're going to try to hide. And, like I said, you could peel this part open, and treat all up inside the box spring, all around inside here, uh, on the wood slats and everything. As far as bed bug chemicals go, they're pretty lenient when it comes to the box spring itself because, you know, people don't lay on the box spring, they lay on the mattress. And so uh, you can get away with treating a lot more thoroughly on a box spring than a mattress. And uh, so anyway, let's get down here and I'll show you this bed all the way down where the frame you've got the the frame right here it's bolted right to the headboard now the bed bugs like to hide in this little groove this little crack right here where the frame meets the headboard they will also hide now this bed uh, headboard here is for a queen size bed but it's also for a full size bed if you notice you've got an extra set of drill holes and an extra slat here uh, so it will work with a full size bed as well you want to make sure you check these slits make sure there's nothing in those uh, these little drill holes and of course the foot this this bed itself doesn't actually have a footboard but you'll want to check those places and make sure that the uh, bed bugs are not living in those and also where the slats join together in the middle you've got these two metal uh, slats right here and there's a crack where the two slats join together bed bugs will hide in there you can use something like an aerosol they make a uh, uh, special aerosol for bed bugs. You can spray in these cracks and you can kill the bed bugs. I advise using a portable vacuum cleaner if you've got one handy um, and you know suck up any live or dead bed bugs in the process just so you can uh, eliminate those as a problem because you don't want uh, any live bed bugs that you know if you you kill them all while you're here you take care of the most of the problem then hopefully as far as a residual problem later on down the road you've eliminated all of your issue with bed bugs so anyway uh 
that's really about it. It's it's just a lot of, of heavy lifting, a lot of grunt work, and if you can deal with uh, lifting your beds, and also the same thing applies for a couch. I don't know if I, I mentioned that earlier. Um, <clears throat> a lot of times people will go out and they will buy a sofa used. Uh, it's a real common to find bed bugs in a sofa. They have that same piece of felt just like on this bed right here on the bottom of uh, a sofa. So you want to take that back and you want to treat around those staples as well. And up inside the sofa frame to make sure that you don't have any more bed bugs in your sofa. There is no reason to throw away your sofa or your bed or your box spring. You can eliminate bed bugs in your home without throwing your furniture away. I know a lot of exterminators like to try to force people into throwing away their furniture and getting rid of their personal possessions just because they don't want to worry with, you know, the problem of a callback. Now, uh, it does happen. Sometimes you do have to go back and treat a second or a third time. Uh, it's just the way they are, the way they breed, the way they reproduce. Bed bugs do not need a blood meal. Uh, they can go over a year without one. Uh, actually, there was a, um, recently within the last couple years, there was a scientist, and if I can think of his name, I'll link it in the description below, but there's a scientist that actually did a uh, research on bed bugs and was able to get them to live for three years without a blood meal. That's a really long time, uh, and of course, this is under laboratory results, not actually in the field, but they can, the point is, is that they can go a long time without a blood meal. And if the chemical is a repellent and they don't want to crawl out and go through it, they will wait until the chemical gets weak to when they can come out without dying, you know, get on you and bite you. Um, so you want to keep that in mind uh, with your exterminators that are doing liquid application. Uh, I don't, of course, if you, if you uh, <clears throat> check my channel, and I'll, I'll leave this in the description too, uh, not just in the description, but in the end notes and the little uh, box there. Um, I don't agree with heat treatments. For bed bugs, I agree with uh, chemical application. I find they work the best. And I know a lot of customers um, that I have worked for that have had heat treatments that have failed. They've hired me for liquid application and it works. It is a lot of work. It's a lot of manual labor uh, when you're having to come in and basically rearrange someone's house when you figure every bedroom, you know, they got two, three bedrooms, two, three beds and uh, you're having to lift those beds, especially if it's a king size bed or something. It's just a lot of work, a lot of uh, hard work. So, um, and heat is not, you know, I mean, I don't wanna say heat isn't work. It, it, you know, doing a heat treatment, it's a lot of work involved in heat treatments too, you know, dragging hoses and stuff like that and hooking up uh, propane heaters and electric heaters and stuff. But, um, you know, just so you know, uh, liquid application's the way to go. It's what I've done for years. It's what's worked for me. And if you uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you really like it, subscribe to my channel. And I hope you're able to catch all of my other how-to videos. Also, check me out on Facebook. I've got a, a Facebook page, Green Acres PC. Well, my, my website my website's GreenAcresPC.com. My Facebook's Green Acres Pest Control LLC. Uh, hit me up anytime. I'm always open to help you out if you need help. And I will be talking to you later.